Hey guys, Celtic Fire here, back in another part in Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we made it here to Goldenrod City and explored a little bit, but in this part, I'm going to do something I completely forgot about. In Pokemon Crystal, I don't think it's in Gold and Silver, but in Crystal and the remakes, if you talk to the daycare man here, I'm the daycare man, do you know about eggs? I was raising Pokemon with my wife, you see. You are shocked to find an egg. How incredible is that? Well, wouldn't you like this egg? Then fine, it's yours to keep. So, yes, you get a free egg if you talk to these people. I'm not sure off the top of my head what they are, but I know it's a random chance of about four or five different Pokemon, so I guess we'll keep it in our party for now and see what it turns into. Why don't we? So, next thing we're going to want to do in Goldenrod City before we take on the gym, because I will do the gym in this episode, but we want to head down here into this house, and it's the bike shop. We can get the bike here. Yep. I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Sure. Really? Great. Give me your name and phone number, and I'll loan you a bicycle. Thank you. My bicycles are first rate. You can ride them anywhere, except for in my shop, because that's just rude. So anyway, I'm going to go register a bicycle. Register it. There we go. And now we can ride the bicycle. And the bicycle music is playing. Woo! Last thing I think I'm going to do before we head to the gym is if we go... Because if you might have noticed last episode, if you go to the elevator, you can actually go to the bottom floor. So let's head to the bottom floor real quick. Also, uh, off-screen, I did a little off-screen training, so my... Pokemon are a little bit higher level than what you saw them last, but you probably could have saw that on the screen already, but should be able to, uh, during certain times, be able to grab those items, because the boxes will be moved, but I think that's determinant on the day, or time, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but nothing there, so we're going to do one more thing that I completely forgot about until just now. And that is... Get on our bike. Darn you, lady. No, I don't want to... That's the game corner right there. If you want to buy some Pokemon, you are more than welcome to do that there. Is it here? No, 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 no. Yeah, I... Um, I think this lady gets you return if you show her a Pokemon that likes you. So let's show her cool lava. And... Does cool lava love me? Street and Pokemon nicely, they will love you in return. Oh, let me see your Kulava. It's quite cute. I'll be back for you later. I feel like she gives you a return, though, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, though. Um, maybe this is where we want to go? Underground entrance, yes, this is where we want to go. So head down here, and we got some random Pokemon trainers you can fight. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. No. <laughs> Technically, yes, I do have a Kulava, and that's rare, but I don't want to show you, really, sir. A Slowpoke. What an awful matchup. Alright, Kulava. Let's just do a quick attack and hopefully be able to take it out in two hits. It's probably going to take three. That was a critical hit, and only hit five? That is... That's some... I don't want to say impressive, I want to... Quite the opposite of impressive, that's that's horrible. What do we got next? Another Slowpoke? Well, let's bring out... Mid... Oh, okay, apparently we're bringing out Poliwag. Good thing I'm good with controls. Alright, Poliwag. Let's do this. Uh, let's double slap it. In the uh, remakes, I kind of like the double slap animation. It's kind of... Kind of humorous to me, except for that was a triple slap, not a double slap. Alrighty. Oh, we triple slapped it again. Well, no matter what, uh, actual, I think just one slap will take it out next time. Nope, nope, we do need the double slap. And... Uh, no level up. Okay. <laughs> oh, yay. Got some money. Hello. 
Do you consider the type alignments in battle? If you know your type advantages, you'll do. Thank you! Thank you for teaching the ga this game me mechanic. Now, so glad you told me. Super nerd Teru. Teru is going to stand. Oh, yeah, good thing we got our Kolava out there. Because Kolava can ember it. Because in Generation 2 is when Magnemites were given a new type. They were just pure electric types in Generation 1, but it. Generation 2 onward, and along with Magneton in its evolution and Magnezone in Generation 4, it was given a steel subtype. So, I think Magnemites and their evolution honestly have the most type. Or, like, it's resistant to the most types, but I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Anyway, let's try to get this Nidoran evolved, shall we? It'd be nice if, uh,. Nidoran had the ability to poison point in this game, but that's okay. We'll make perfectly fine without it. One... Okay, I think Scratch will take it out for next time. Hmm, that was interesting. I didn't expect that to miss, but that's okay. Nidoran, female, female. I just realized that they say female twice. That's kind of redundant. And another Magnemite. Luckily, we have a fighting type move, which steel types are not to res or are weak to, so just use that. Oh my. <laughs> that took out a lot of damage. That took out a lot of health. I'm not making any sense today. <laughs> and one more Magnemite. No, we will keep Nidoran out there because we need that level. And yeah. This Magnemite will definitely suffice with giving us the last level we need. Sweet! And level up for Nidoran. And we defeated Taru. Ow, ow, ow! What? Nidoran is evolving? Nope, unlike Fire Red, I am allowing it to evolve right away. We already have a Nidorina! Our second evolution of the game. Sweet! Alrighty. And I think if we talk to this person... Run of Salon... Oh yeah, okay. This is where you can make your Pokemon's happiness go up. So, if you need uh, that, that's a perfect place to go. I know one reason why I will need to go there later. It's for my future Pokemon that evolves from happiness. But anyway, I'm going to fight these last two people on sc or not on screen, off screen, because it's kind of getting a little redundant now. So I will meet you outside the Pokemon gym. I will see you on the other side. Alrighty, well, shall we take on this gym? Let's do it. So I will probably do one trainer normal speed, but after I do that, I think I'm going to personally fast forward the rest of them. So let's face this beauty. I think that's what all the ones in here are. Yeah, they're beauties. Okay, so Beauty Victoria is going to start off with a Centret. Now the theme of this gym is it is a normal type, so having a Pokemon that knows any fighting type moves will be absolutely fantastic. Also, this is probably the gym that has one of the most annoying Pokemon in the game. You'll see it when we get there. <laughs> it's not going to be fun. Unless, for some reason, I get horribly lucky and I just beat it no problem. But anyway, right now this beauty has some Centrits, which is right now no problem for our Nidorina. I really don't want Nidorina to go past level 23, because at level 23, if we can evolve it into a Nidoqueen, we will be able to get a pretty good normal type move. Much better than Tackle and Scratch, that's for sure. So I would like to try to be able to get the Moonstone before then. Probably shouldn't get, or should get some healing items too, I really didn't think about that. Should have thought about that ahead of time. That's okay though. Oh, we're at the same speed, how about that? Nidorina is going to level up. Oh, for some reason also, my last, all three of my party Pokemon are were exactly like that. The experience bar looked like it should have clicked, but it didn't. Let's see, oops, it's over. Also, during the fast forward, you might be able to notice that this gym is shaped in the shape of a Clefairy. Generation 4, it looks a little bit better since it's in 3D, but 
much more better or be much better graphical capabilities. So anyway, I'm going to fast forward here. I'll play some Pokemon music like I have the last two times over it. So until I finish the gym here, I will see you on the other side. Alright, I'm back, and with the power of editing, I also heal off screen, so it probably look like I just finished here. But believe it or not, everyone's healed. Yes. So anyway, we're going to lead off with Nid Arena, and I guess we'll just hope for the best, because I also forgot to buy stuff off screen, so let's do this! Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want a battle? I'm warning you, I'm good! Bring it on, Whitney. I'm not afraid of you. Alright, Whitney, she's going to start off with a level 18 Clefairy with the moves Encore, Double Slap, Mimic, and Metronome. So, what we're going to want to do here is definitely try to take it out. Also, it's not a bad idea if you want. You can set up a bunch of moves like... Well, I don't want to say Sword Dance because I don't think it existed, and I don't think you can get it this early, but... If you can get moves like that that can up your defense, like maybe defense curl or something like that, definitely do it. Because Clefairy is a good idea to do it on. Because this is the pain in the butt Pokemon. Miltank. Now you're probably going to ask why am I switching to Poliwag? Well, glad you asked. Because it has a really high defense and Nidorina really only has def or offensive type move. We need special attackers. Polywag is a special attacker. Uh, I completely forgot Polywag was male. This is going to be really annoying. Oh, I forgot to mention level 20 milk tank, stomp, attract, milk, milk drink, and rollout for the move. So it's also going to want to set up its rollout like it just tried to do. And then when it gets low on health, it will. Uh, this is going to be. When it gets low on health, it will use milk drink. There we go, there we go. Alright, so now that it's asleep, I'm going to switch to Kalava because that infatuation I can't deal with. But yeah, this Pokemon is definitely very defensive oriented, and we're going to need to use Ember. Now a Heracross, if we got a Heracross early in the game, which we could have, that's a perfect Pokemon to have for this fight, but I didn't want it to be too easy. Nice critical hit. Use a quick attack because I don't want it to heal. I think Whitney has a super potion and I don't want her to use it. Alright, let's try Ember. Probably should have used Ember last time. I didn't realize quick attack would not do as much damage as it did. Hopefully Ember doesn't do too much for it. Yeah, that's child probably going to trigger it. Oh, it didn't. And she's still asleep. I am impressed. Wow, that was actually really easy compared to what I thought it was going to be. Alright, and Polywag's going to level 2, sweet. Well, that 
battle is much easier than I thought it was going to be. What do you mean? You should be silly, you child, you. <laughs> you mean. Oh no, you made Whitney cry. Oh, it's okay. She'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Okay. What? What do you want? Badge? Oh, right. I forgot. Here's this plain badge. That's some great English right there. Here is plain badge. Do you want plain badge? Here is plain badge. You want it? Okay, you take. Plain badge. And we receive the plain badge. Alrighty. And we can now use strength outside of battle. That's nice. Our speed's boosted. And team 45 probably attract. That's my guess, at least. Yep. I really don't like I mean, it probably would be a good move, but I'd rather learn it naturally than through a TM. So anyway, that is going to wrap up this episode, I believe, guys. We got ourselves the plane badge, did a little bit of Goldenrod City exploring, and in the next part, we're finally going to get the Moonstone, I believe, so we can evolve the frickin' new arena before it can not move the move I want it to move, or learn. So anyway, I guess I will end it right here in front of the Pokemon Center. If you like this part, I'd appreciate a like. Any thoughts, comments, concerns, complaints, leave them down below in the comment box. Otherwise, have a good day.